respond by saying amen. 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 Still here. A few more pages. Okay, and the writer begins. For God is my record, how greatly I long after you in all bowels of Jesus Christ. And this is my prayer, that you love me. That ye may approve things that are excellent, that ye may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ. 11. Be filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Jesus Christ, unto the glory and praise of God. May the Lord add a blessing to the reading and to the hearing of his word. Amen. We have our altar prayer. Those who want to go to the altar to pray, um, come right up to the altar. Amen. All right, everyone, please stand. Dear Lord, we thank you for this day. Yes. Father, we thank you for the blessing of seeing this day. We thank you for health and strength. We thank you for being in our right minds. Father, we thank you for uh, restraining the attacks of the enemy. Father, we know that Satan comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But you have come to give us life and life more abundantly. So, Father, we thank you for holding back the enemy. We thank you for your protection. We thank you for your provision. Father, we thank you that the Lord Jesus Christ was obedient unto death on the cross. And because of that death on the cross, we have everlasting life. Father, we thank you for everlasting life. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. We thank you that it's not something that we have to earn, but it's something you've given us, yes. and we've accepted it by faith. Thank you. Help us to walk in faith, Father. Help us to walk in obedience. Father, we ask for your power over the struggles that we have day by day, the tribulations and the trials, yes. the besetting sins, yes. the yes. constant temptations. We ask for victory over relationship problems, Amen. victory over health problems, yes. victory over money problems. Yes. Father, we pray for those who are bereaved among us, Lord. Um, and we know, as we read today, that um, we're going to miss our loved ones for a little while, but then we'll see them again. Yes. Father, we ask you to comfort us with these, with these oh, words. Lord. Father, we pray for those who are dealing with very serious illnesses. Yes, Father, we pray for those who have been given a, a death sentence that they only have so long to live. Father, we pray that you would show your overcoming power even in that situation, yes. as you've done so many times before, yes. that you have the power over life and death yes. and help us to trust you yes. uh, with our life and help us to trust you unto death. Father, we pray for those who are alone right now, Father, uh, alone for whatever reason. Oh, yes, Father, yes, first of yes. all, we ask you to um, just be that paraclete, that companion, that constant friend, that even in their aloneness, that they will not be alone. Yes. Father, we also ask you to give us um, wisdom and leading as to what we should do about it. Help us, Father, to know who to call, when to call, what to say. Who to visit, when to visit, and what to do. Father, we ask for your wisdom, and we ask for your, your um, push. If we are not doing what you'd have us to do, we say push us, Lord. Push us, make us, if you, if you have to make us. Father, we pray for the family of God. There will be a family, there will be one people, one body. Father, we pray that you would continue to unify us, 
And Father, we also ask you, Lord, for the discipline that we need. Yeah. Father, sometimes we need that discipline. And it may not be pleasant, but we know that you love us and you're making us into the men of God, the women of God, the children of God that you call us to be. So, Father, we ask you to continue to mold us and make us. Father, we pray for our worship service today. That we worship you in spirit and in truth. Forgive us for our sins. Father, not only cleanse us, Father, help us to forget what we used to be and look forward to what you're making us into. Help us to embrace who we are, that we're a new creature in Jesus Christ. Father, we pray for our pastor as he prepares to lead us in, in worship and in the word. We pray for our first lady and, and our fa first family, Lord, that you'll continue to bless them and glorify yourself through them. Father, give you thanks and praise and commit the service into your care and keeping. In Jesus' name, amen.
morning worship, I got a few things I have to do, and I missed out on the testimonies. Amen. Lord have mercy. Uh, did, did anybody who didn't give a testimony want to give your testimony now? Amen. Anybody who God has been good to you and you want to say it again, you can do it now. Amen. Do you want a mic, Sister Melanie? You should give your test phone to somebody. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Can you do it one more time? <laughs> she said, all right. <laughs> to God be the glory. Um, I just want to clarify what my sister said. I got a lot of zeal out of the little kids when they were reading the day and reading the words of God. Yeah. Yeah. Of the Lord. Amen. And it just lifted my spirit a lot, too, just to hear the, them praising the Lord. So I, I just want to thank God for just allowing them to, to hear his word. And Amen. 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 Good word. Amen. Amen. All right. Uh, nobody else, sister. We got, we got oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Praise God. I just want to thank God for another Sunday morning. Amen. Amen, y'all. Hallelujah. Thank for allowing us to, to uh, be in his service this morning. Thank him for his goodness, for his love, for his faithfulness, and for the truth of his word. Amen. 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 Y'all, we just went through it. She said his goodness, Amen. his truthfulness, yes. his faithfulness. Yes. Every one of us yes. should have been saying, that's fine, that's fine. That's where I'm at. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, my testimony was just thank it uh was just thanking God for being here because I was gone for two uh Sundays and I'm thanking God to be back in the house of the Lord. Amen. But I also want to thank the Lord because as I we got our year end um, statement uh, for tithes and offering. I was looking at my statement. I was like, Lord, I ain't even make this much. Uh, but I thank God that, Amen. you know, the, the Bible says we can't outgive God. And I thank God uh, because in the midst of that, I just feel like with my obedience, with my tithes, and, um, and that he has just been, he really has kept me. And it's still keeping me, so I'm just grateful yeah. for that. Hey. 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 Oh, wait a minute. Did we get that back? Yeah.
Sister Bardo said, is that you can begin to lean back and when you lean back, y'all, it's not long before you start looking back. Lord, and when Lord. you start leaning and looking, you get colder. Because yeah. life is not stagnant. You don't just stay where you are. You will either be going forward because you want to walk with God or you'll start backsliding. Y'all, and I know that's the truth. Yeah. You can't just be where you was last week or the week before, uh-uh, because -uh, Satan keeps coming. Yeah. Life keeps coming. Yeah. The Lord, let me say it today. I'm, I'm going to talk about a deacon who was struggling. A deacon who was struggling. He said, I got to get back to church. He didn't know what day, what issue, what circumstances. And in church, y'all, he died. Amen. And he said, I'm so glad that if I got, if today was my day to go, if now was my, I'm glad I'm going in the Lord, in the church, in the faith, in my commitment to God. Y'all yes. stay committed. Y'all yes. yes. keep coming. Yes. You'll start growing. Yes. When you start growing, you'll start bringing somebody else. You'll start helping somebody else. Lord said, we're going to talk a little bit about that today because many of us don't know the world needs you. Well. The world is lost. People need the Lord. And sometimes their only opportunity to see God's word is in you. One last thing after this testimony time. The Bible says that your strength is in your testimony. The Bible says, y'all, that we, we overcome by the blood of the Lamb 
That's what Jesus already did. And by the what, y'all? The word of our testimony. Kind of like mama used to do. Mama used to start talking about us, about how we were messing up. Now, Rich, I told you such and such, and yesterday you act like, and, and that's right, Nikki, you was acting a fool too. And, and Willie Ray, and by the time she get down to R.D., oh, you get the bell. She done heated herself up, warmed her heart up, and now we, mama, 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 we got, we got it, mama. No, y'all, y'all been, I'm gonna give y'all for old and new. She done edged herself on, and now she ready to whoop us all, amen. Do you know that if you do what God is telling you to do right now, and that's just acknowledge him. Amen. Share, declare your love for him. Your heart will be warmed. Your sense of, of connection will be renewed and refreshed. And guess who will be strong because of your testimony? Well, you. The Bible says we overcome by the blood of the lamb and by the word of his testimony. And if I've, if I've heard this once today, I've heard it five times that I'm struggling. Five times. Meaning people are, life is not playing with us. Amen. Issues keep coming. So if you don't stay serious, stay focused, then, then that stuff will just, it'll just like the wave, the tide, it'll just, just woo you back out into the deep water. Amen? Amen. 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 All right. I'm going to ask our choir to bless us now in the song, after which we're going to trust that the Spirit of the living God will take us higher. Amen, y'all? Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. God is faithful in helping us to just do his bidding, his calling. And I pray that you too will be there. As our officers come now, if you need an envelope that you might uh, share in your contributions. I love what Mark said. Mark said, she saw her contribution. She said, Lord, I don't know I made that much. <laughs> but what she really don't know is what God's got in favor for her. Oh, Amen. Really all, all God wants us to do is be faithful. Yes. And he'll show himself to be God. Yes. Amen. 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 So if you need an envelope, uh, ask the ushers for an envelope. And we'll make sure you get one and we'll trust that the spirit of the living God will meet you there. I'm going to ask you to stand now. Follow the leading of the ushers from the rear of the church. I, I remember, y'all, this is no exaggeration, that I would come around the offering table and not put an hour of you in it. I put a piece of paper that says, I ain't got nothing now, but I owe you, Lord. Amen. 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 And, and do you know the Lord helped me to, God bless to be able to make that video? God bless you. I put, I put a piece of paper. I ain't got it on it, but I'm going to get it. Amen. Amen. I've done that. God has been blessed, and taken care of, and made a way. Amen. Amen. the blessed ones that gave, blessed ones that had desire but had not, and blessed for the furthering of your kingdom. In Jesus' name we pray. Jesus Amen. Amen. Martin Luther King. Martin 
Martin Luther King Jr. was born January the 15th, 1927. A Baptist, American Baptist, Baptist minister, and he was an activist. He was very visible in the civil rights movement from 1955 until his assassination in 1968. And I want to just say he was a man of God. Yes. Because as you know, all of us, all of our saints out here, we know this when, when you're a child of the king, he gives all of us dreams. He leads us and guides us in the way that we should go. And you know that he had a famous speech, I have a dream. Yes. So you know that as a man of God, God gave him a dream. Yes. So we want to just thank you and praise the Lord for him and what he did in his lifetime. Yes. So as we sing, we're going to start off singing that I'm going to ask you to stand up and turn to page 501. We shall overcome and I will lead you in we shall overcome. Just wait for my entry. sing her solo first and then we'll sing after her.
believe it or not, brothers and sisters, those times produced great character. And oftentimes in our lives, it's the challenges and the trials we face that produce.